Here's looking at you, kid. Ice water. You know, this is Velma Hagar, and this is Guido. <laughs> you know who we are. You know what, I wanna tell you about these glasses. Isn't this beautiful? It's like a hobnail. And when my mother died, I never wanted any of her stuff. And you know, the night before she died, I think I told you the story, and maybe if you watch the day, the night Mama died, you, you, or the day Mama died, you'll, you'll see hear the story, but she cooked for us the night before she died. And she made this beautiful spread. She loved to set a pretty table, and she loved to cook. And so when we went over there, she had these pink glasses sitting on the table with burgundy uh, napkins coming out of them like a flower. She had that whole table set in that pink and bur burgundy theme. And I'd never seen the glasses before. So she had just gotten them. And there was a set of 12. So when she died, honestly, I didn't want her stuff. It's real funny when people die, I don't really want anything. It's really weird. But you know, later I wished I would have taken some of it. And luckily, Stacy took some of it and gave it to me. But I wanted those glasses. So that was how I got those beautiful pink glasses. But that's not what we're gonna talk about. We're gonna talk about, you know, some of your biggest blessings you will find in the trough of life, right down smack dab in the trough. Some of your biggest blessings will come your way. <laughs> Did you see that leap? <laughs> Look at him, you guys. Oh, I just got home and I'm telling you, it is hard for me to be away from this dog. He is amazing. Okay, anyway, so sometimes when you are really going through, you know, the, the muck and the mire and the clay of life, you know, if you just remember that within that trough, there lies something beautiful. There always does. Some of you have heard my poem and some of you haven't, so you're all gonna hear it if you're watching this right now. I memorized this poem years ago and I love the depth of it. It goes like this. I'm gonna recite this for you. Let me go where'er I will. I hear a sky boy music still. It sounds from all things old, and it sounds from all things young. From all that is fair, peels out a perfect song. But it's not only in the rose, and it's not only in the bird, not only where the rainbow glows, nor in the song of women heard, but in the dark and meanest things, there always, always something sings. Tis not only in the stars alone, nor in the cups of budding flowers, nor in the red brass mellow tone, nor in the bow that smiles and showers, but in the mud and scum of things, there always, always something sings. Are you looking for the song of life in your life? Or are you looking for the junk? You know, what you decide to look at is what you are going to get. And I have to tell you that sometimes your troubles are actually a blessing in disguise. You know, we rarely, well, first of all, man doesn't even know how to appreciate life if he doesn't have some of those troubles to go through. You know, it's like, it's like if everything was always perfect, you wouldn't know what perfect was. You have to have that comparison. And always remember that life is filled with problems. It's, it's got problems and so you're not gonna be, you're not gonna be, ab, ab, how I wanna say, you're not gonna get away from them. You're not gonna get away from your problems because everybody has them. Jesus said, this world is full of trouble, but I have overcome that trouble. I don't know how anybody gets through without Jesus in their life in this troubled world right now. Things are really, really troubled. But you know what? Out of this will come something really, really good. You know, my dad used to say, the bigger they are, the, hard, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. I say, the bigger your problem is, the higher it bounces. I mean, it's like the big problems are the ones that bring the big blessings if you allow it. Always be willing to look for the song within the ugly muck and clay, clay of things, the, the ugly mud and scum of things. Always be willing to look for that song, you know. And I want to tell you something else. Most of the time, your treasure and your blessing is right in front of you. We're so busy looking way out there sometimes that we miss what's right here. You know, I always remember this story, and, and I've told it on another video, but maybe you haven't heard it. 
One time, we, my grandchildren and I were walking on the beach and we were looking for sand dollars. That was our main objective, to find sand dollars. And they were running around like jackrabbits. They were just all over the place. And I was walking on the beach, you know, right down the little path. I was making a straight line down the beach. They were making a zigzags, you know, looking all over. And, and all of a sudden, right at my feet, I saw the most beautiful, beautifully formed sand dollar, big. And I called those kids, I said, come here, you guys, I want you to see something. You're so busy running around looking for blessings, and it was right at our feet. You know, and most of the time, I want to tell you something, most of the time, those blessings are right at your feet. They're right there, and you're so busy looking out here, wanting and wishing that you miss that blessing that's right here in front of you, right under your nose. Don't you like that story? I love it. And you know, it's true. If you just stop and look at the things around you, you know, my mother used to have this saying, she used to say, keep your eyes glued to the ground because maybe you'll find something. And you know, I've, put, I've written that in my book. I have that, I dedicated my book to my mother, Hidden Treasures in Secret Places. My mother was the one that got me started. I mean, we just looked for treasures. We expected to find a treasure in, every, in everything. We expected to see treasures. We looked for money on the ground. We looked for gold, fool's gold, anything. You know, we were always looking for a treasure. And you know what? If you don't look for them, you're never gonna find them. Keep your eyes glued to the ground and your thoughts on the things above. And I guarantee you, between those two little things, you will find the treasures and God will show you what to do and where to go to find them. He will direct your steps. But you just expect that in your biggest problem today, whatever your biggest problem is, you take a look at it right now. And then in a, in a short time from now, I want you to look back and see what God did with that problem. He'll turn it into your biggest blessing. It's just the way it is. Buy my book. And while you're at it, see that little subscribe button over there? Hit that subscribe button and you'll get my little videos every time I do one. You know, my little videos are filled with little treasures, little things that will help you in life. And buy my book, Hidden Treasures in Secret Places, on Amazon, Velma Hagar. Or you can private message me. I will send it out to you. I gained four pounds on my vacation. I'm not very happy. I can see it like right in here. Four pounds, you guys. But boy, did we good. We went to Idaho. And, and then we went on to Washington, the state of Washington from there. And we had a beautiful, beautiful family time. I had four of my granddaughters. I have seven granddaughters, and four of them were with us in Washington, and two of them in Idaho. And so we had and my daughter and my son, my one son, and my daughter-in-law. So things were beautiful. My daughter-in-law was such an awesome hostess, and they had a beautiful home, and we really, truly enjoyed ourselves. It's wonderful to get away, and it's wonderful to spend time with family. So make sure you're doing that. You know, where you put your time and your money is where your heart is. So. Put your time and your money in, in, into your family. That's where your real value in life grows. Okay, you guys, that was it. So this is Velma Hagar bidding you a blessed day. And the next time you have a big problem, look for the song within. Bye.